Look at you girls. Three smelly girls. And there's a fourth smelly girl in there. Oh. There's the fourth smelly girl. Shall we combine you with this smelly girl? And then we have two pairs of smelly girls. Yeah, Lily. I know. Well, you got that smelly girl. But this smelly girl with this smelly girl would be another pair of smelly girls. Yeah, well, I'm going to cut this grass in the rooster's yard today. And we're going to try to get you two out. Get you two together. Yeah, your new best friend. See how hyper you girls are? You want to be in here? You want to come in the house with me and Rooster? I don't know how it's going to work because Rooster stashes treats everywhere. And what do we got going on over here? You barking at me. Smelly girls everywhere. All right, well, there was some footage from the dogs this morning. Uh, I had a whole whole bunch of things I had planned for today and tomorrow and woke up this morning. I felt like hammered booty. Roasted booty. I don't know what's going on. Just feel weak, cold and clammy. I ain't got no energy, man, and I haven't been eating good the last week. I think I, I haven't taken any vitamins in three or four days. Just ate a little bit ago. Nothing wrong with my appetite. Uh, just woke up feeling bad, man. You guys don't never see me post a video where I'm sick. I wouldn't say I'm sick. I'm just feeling weird today. No, I ain't going to the hospital. I've had this before. It passes. They never find anything. Uh, Got to remember, I don't have a spleen, so sometimes I get run down. Because my immune system ain't like everybody else's. But I'm, I'll be fine. But I went out. I got that internet thing I'm trying to hook up out there. And I just couldn't concentrate and gave up. Came back in. And this is what I'm going to do today. So, But I still got to get a video out for Dogtober. So... I thought I'd tell y'all a couple stories about when I first got Waldo, Lucy, um, Lulu, Wally. They were my OGs, man, the original. Waldo was always the leader. He assumed the position right off the bat, even though he was only probably 10 months old when he showed up at my door. Well, it wasn't even my door. I didn't have a door yet. It was my friend's house. And he had a whole bunch of fencing that we were going to put up, and we just kept getting more and more dogs. They'd show up, and finally we got the yard. But before that, we had the yard. They would just run the pasture. He had 50 acres. They would run, and wherever I went, I always had a trail of them behind me. Uh, Waldo liked to go, and Lucy, you know, being beagles. Uh, they wanted to hunt rabbits, and he was good at it. But, you know, even though it was a dirt road, we didn't want them running out in the road and that, so we got the fence up. But every now and then, they'd get out. You know how it is when you put up a new fence. you got to find all the openings and close them and 800 cinder box and rebar and everything else to try and tie it down. Well, they got out one time, and now when, when they got out, they would always take off running way as far as into the pasture until you couldn't see them anymore. But Waldo would always come back within a half an hour. He was always the first one back. And it was funny because when he got all the way back to me, he would turn around and, and look for the rest of them, and then he would bark. He'd sit there and go, Whoo! Whoo! A few minutes later, here come Lucy. <coughs> and uh, then the rest of them would all trail in. And so it was probably uh, September when Waldo and Lucy showed up, 
and here coming about December, uh, here comes Wally. You'd see him every day. He was about probably eight, nine weeks old. He wasn't very big at all. He was a big walker hound, but he was just a puppy. And he'd walk up and down the road, and he'd see all these dogs in there in the yard. He'd see me out there, you know, playing with them and petting on Lucy. Lucy'd be in my arms getting petted. And he'd, he'd just stop there at the fence, and Waldo would run up and bark at him, and then he'd run off. Well, I hurt my back really bad on New Year's Day, and I don't know, a day or two later, I'm, I'm housebound. I can't, I'm on a walker. I can't go nowhere. And here I'm looking out the window, because it's right there where my room was, and I see Wally walking up to the fence. And they all run up, and but they're not barking at him. <laughs> so Wally, he, you know, he, he if he's eight, nine, ten weeks, you know, he could not be no more than that. He starts digging, and he digs his way in. And there's six or seven full-grown dogs, big dogs, in the yard. He don't care. He dug his way in. And I'm in the house. I can't do anything about it. You know, I'm not going to open the window and scream because I don't want to get them dogs riled up thinking that what Wally's doing is bad. So I just watch and see how it's going to play out, and I'm dreading the outcome. And finally, he slinks his way in. He digs. He, he was always a digger. Uh, if I find a picture of Wally, I'll stick it up in here somewhere. But uh, the internet is so slow today, another reason I gave up on that because of that turkey track over there. Even though I have Starlink, all the, you know, electronic junk going on in the air, and it does it every year. Don't even have phone service without it. But anyway, he dug his way in, and he comes, and they all do their sniffing. Waldo kind of, you know, brushes up against him. And then Waldo lifts his leg and pees on Wally. And Wally just turned around. He, he wasn't even, he, you know, no bigger than a minute. Wally turns around. Whoo! Whoo! Just hooted at Waldo. Says, boy, what are you doing? So after that, there wasn't any. I guess Waldo had to let him know that he was boss. And there wasn't any, no, any more trouble. And so... Wally stayed with us, and I said, well, I'll take him on, too. And then about, uh, when was it? About a month later. No, it wasn't a month later. It was a year later. <coughs> and the cough has nothing to do with anything I'm feeling. You know, they're all full grown. I, I find, a, I move to town. And it's my, uh, the boss, you know, the owner of the pawn shop, one of his properties, he said, well, I'd rather have somebody stay in there than leave it empty. So I went ahead and moved in, and I could bring, it had a big fenced yard, and I could only have three dogs. So I brought Waldo, Lucy, and Lulu. And we were there, I don't know, three or four months till I found this property. But meanwhile, Wally had to stay. And Wally, since Waldo was gone, Wally took over you know as the head dog the male most of them were females and then he got to where he was scuffling with a bunch of them so he got put in a kennel and then as soon as i got this place i built the yard and he was the first dog i went and got and so then i got a deal with waldo lulu and lucy and i got to put them in the yard with wally whom they've not seen in four or five months and Wally's been here a few days, so when I went to get Wally, or Waldo, and Lucy, and Lulu. So I get them all here, and I get them in the yard. I said, I'm just going to throw them in and get it over with. And him and Waldo had a hooting match, just growling and barking at each other. And I'm out there, hey, I'm not going to put up with this. But they never went to blows. 
and they ended up getting along. They never did like each other. Never did, but they just stayed away from each other. Same yard. You would never see those two playing, but Wally would play with all the other dogs. And he was just a cool dog. I wish I had video. I do got some video of Wally, but uh, he, he had passed away in 2021, just before I started making videos again. And so I really don't have, he's not, you're not going to find him in any of my videos. But Wally, he passed away in 2021. Lulu passed away in 2020. Lucy died in 2017. And then there was Waldo. And, you know, he outlived them all. And then I got Lily next. And so she's the oldest now. She's the OG now. I told her that. She got a big smile on her face. She's in there. She's, she's staying up all night outside. She likes to go outside. She's in there sleeping right now. I went in there to watch TV with her. She just wants to sleep. Uh, she likes it outside at night. She's always done that. But I don't feel like messing with that today. Letting them. I want to get let her get over this a little bit with Waldo. And then Rooster's fine. But I want her to. I don't want her being in that kind of mood. That she just lost somebody that she was with all her life. And I don't want to just throw a rooster at her. So we're going to give it a few days. She's doing okay. You know, she'll bounce back. But guys, I just got no energy to go out there and film anything today. I do not feel good at all. Uh, we'll see how I feel tomorrow. But this is all I want to do. Sit here. And do nothing and watch TV. And I don't do this often. So. And we're missing him. You know. But it's. The way that it went down was a whole lot easier. And a lot of people are saying. You know that one. The night before he bounced back like that. And. You know. And then. That was it. You know, less than 24 hours later, he was gone. You know, that was kind of weird. Because I thought, you know, it was kind of a false hope. Thought he'd be great. But it wasn't the case. And, you know, it could have been something else going on with him. I don't know. He wasn't sick long. And he didn't suffer. You know, no more than... You know, anytime somebody's dying or anything's dying... It's not pleasant, but it's soon over with. And that's what happened, and we're good. Rooster's doing great. She's eating everything. And you can tell she's in better spirits now that them teeth are out. She's not in any more pain. I wish I would have knew that earlier with her, that it was her teeth. You know, sometimes we just don't know. But eventually they start behaving differently and you end up taking them to the doctor and then you find out and it would have been so easy for me to I mean even if I looked at them I would have wouldn't have known they were bad teeth probably I don't know but I can't beat myself up about it she's good now uh, she shouldn't have any more teeth problem and I'm just going to sit here and rest uh, I need to try to take a nap I did sleep good I don't know. All right, guys. That's all I'm going to do for today. Uh, go watch some old videos. Let's keep this thing going. The The views on that three-hour video I put up are actually a whole lot better than I thought they would be. And I thank you guys for watching that. It was, I just randomly picked some videos that had the best views and put them up. They're in no chronological order. I should have took more time and maybe did that. But it is what it is. And uh, I hope the second half of Dogtober goes a lot better than the first half because it has not been great. But we are at about $450. I'd like to be a lot more than that right now, but we'll see how the month ends up when it ends. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.